In this video I will show you how to use Dark Fantasy Photoshop action and also how to customize the results that you got after playing the action. So uh, I'm going to use this photo for a demonstration here and what I'm actually going to do is uh, I'm going to play the action on this photo, uh, customize the result and uh, this is what I'm going to create. So as you can see the action creates uh, these, uh, these light effects here so you got the light beams, you got a light source, there are a lot of textures in the background, the dust particles, you got a glow here and uh, also there are uh, really a lot of options for casting with the results so you can change the light uh, uh, white, you can change uh, uh, its uh, density, uh, you can change its dire direction, uh, you can uh, uh, have a, a more light sources uh, you can customize the textures also and uh, you, you can choose from 25 color options so that you can add uh, to your photo you can also combine them and uh, make a lot more new color options okay so I got a few more examples here to show you okay so as you can see this is the same photo uh, I could just uh, customize the result differently and as you can see here I got the uh, uh, two light sources and uh, also I uh, have applied a different color option there. Here is a, another example. Uh, this is actually the um, uh, also the same photo. Uh, I use the same light uh, directions. So I could just change the uh, color option here. Okay. Okay. So from this photo, I created this. And from this photo I created this. Okay, so let me close these windows now. Okay, so first thing that you need to check when you open your photo is that your photo is a background layer. So uh, this is a very important step and uh, you, it must be a background, uh, otherwise the action won't work. So if you have something like this or anything, okay, uh, so uh, what you have to do is to go to layer, new and just choose a background from layer, okay. So uh, this step will make your layer a background layer, okay. Uh, then you should check the image mode, it should be uh, RGB color mode, 8-bit kennel. Also, let's see the image size. Uh, for best results, you shouldn't use the images that are uh, less than 1000 pixels uh, wide in height, okay? Uh, resolution uh, can be 72, 300, okay? So it will work uh, uh, with both resolutions. And um, so I'm just going to use uh, these settings here. And uh, uh, what you can also do here is to change the camera size. So just go to image, canvas size, and if you have a, uh, if you want to make uh, more space, uh, you can just uh, check the relative uh, option and just type the uh, value that you like to uh, add. Okay, so if you want to add a, a width, for example, here, so just type, for example, 400. Okay, so you can expand the canvas that way. Uh, and also, uh, the action will create uh, the light uh, on the exactly in the middle of your photo, so uh, you can uh, use the canvas size to uh, position your photo right in the middle if you want to be aligned with the uh, with the light source. Uh, but uh, also, you will be able to uh, to move the uh, light source and change the direction, so you don't have to. Uh, align that okay so now what you gotta do is to make a new layer just go to layer new and uh, uh, choose a layer uh, just type brush here so uh, you uh, all letters must be lowercase otherwise the action won't work okay so it's a important step here uh, and uh, while that layer is selected you need to choose a brush tool 
choose any color color is not important okay uh, and just brush over your photo set this to 100 just brush it like this you don't have to be too precise okay and I have obviously done this before so I'm just going to open my PSD okay here it is uh, also what you can sometimes uh, do is to if you have a one color background like this or almost one color background what you can do is to uh, select the background using the magic when tool so just type here choose some tolerance and when you make selection uh, see you need to use a smaller tolerance and when you select the whole background you can just uh, inverse the selection so select inverse uh, you can a little bit uh, contract selection you can maybe add a little bit of feather like five and then just fill uh, fill the selection while the brush layer is selected. Okay, so you also uh, and don't forget to deselect the selection after you fill it. Okay, so uh, you can also make this fill on that way. You don't have to brush. You can make selection and just fill it. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to leave the canvas size like this. Okay, uh, and uh, if you want to uh, to position the your photo right in the middle, what you can do is just to select the uh, brush tool by holding control button or co command uh, button for Mac and just click uh, here and um, you make a selection then you can go to image uh, crop and now you can just add the uh, canvas size okay your photo will be exactly in the middle okay so I'm going to leave it like this and uh, now to load the action just uh, go to go to window actions and click on this little arrow here, uh, load actions, and just choose the action that came with the load. Okay. Okay. So here it is. Uh, all you have to do now is to play the action. And I'm going to pause the video here, and I'm going to get back when the action is finished. So I'm going to uh, I will go throughout all the layers to show you how they work and how can you customize them. Okay. So you can get the most out of the effect. Okay, so the action has just stopped. So first I will do is I will close the actions panel. And uh, uh, when the action is finished, uh, the group Dark Fantasy will be selected automatically by the action. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to uh, close all the folders. And how to quick do that is to uh, leave these layers uh, uh, group selected and just hold Control Alt button for PC or Command Option for Mac and just click on this little arrow here. So on that way, you will close down all the folders, okay? So let's uh, just quickly see what we got here from the layers. So you got the brush layer, uh, you got the adjustments, sharpen, you can change the brightness, contrast, saturation. Uh, here you got the 25 color options. You also got a single color uh, option to use. And uh, uh, we are actually going to start customizing for, from this group here. Uh, from the top of the layers okay so let's just uh, change this like this okay uh, so you got a light beams here you can see the edge glow particles uh, reveal original photo main photo uh, we got the uh, also uh, the uh, darker photo bottom we got the light sources software photo edge shadow textures and so on okay so now let's start customizing and we will start uh, from here so these are the uh, light beams and I will just quickly turn on and off this layer okay so you can see uh, when you open the group uh, you will see there uh, are two layers there the first is a narrow light beams and we got a wide li uh, light beam so I'm just gonna turn off uh, uh, the first ones now so you can exactly see uh, the differences okay so uh, this layer uh, have these thin uh, thin light beams okay uh, and this have this uh, wider okay so what I'm uh, going to do is to select the, the group here so another layer mask the group and I'm just going to uh, increase the white here just like this Okay, and uh, actually, I'm going to make uh, a kind of a, a backup 
uh, for this layer so I'm just going to duplicate the whole group and turn it off and why I'm doing that is because uh, I will create a, a few different results from this photo so uh, once I will use the uh, this light direction and the second time uh, I want to use a uh, different light direction and uh, what's the problem here is with when you when you change the direction of the of the light beams uh, and click OK uh, later uh, you can't change the right OK if you do this you're actually not gonna get that so always uh, always keep a one uh, some kind of a backup folder okay uh, so I'm not going to increase this uh, a little bit and just like this and also uh, you got a layer mask here okay so if I turn on this layer mask you will see that uh, light will uh, go a little bit uh, more down so uh, and what I'm going to do also here is I'm going to change the opacity there so, uh, you can change uh, the opacity of the layers separately or you can change the opacity of the whole group okay so you see I'm gonna set this to 5 and this I'm going to use it like this okay so you can always uh, get back for to this layer if you want to change this uh, after you change the uh, lights okay so this is the edge glow group and here we got the main glow more glow uh, one and more glow two layers so uh, with these layers you actually you can see this layer is giving a glow here and uh, you can increase the density by turning on the layers you can change the, uh, play with the opacity of the glow okay like this so just click here and drag in the, into the side and i'm going to leave uh, the edge glow by default uh, as the action uh, has uh, created it okay so these are the small particles group when you open the group you'll see there are a particles group and uh, there are also layers uh, when you turn them all you'll get more particles and uh, they're not much visible now so I'm just going to uh, select the main group and just increase this opacity okay. so you can uh, make them visible as much as you like okay and I'm going to set something like this a little bit more okay uh, also as you increase the density of the light the particles will be more visible also you can see that they're only visible uh, where the where you got a light so you, they won't be visible here on uh, uh, dark places so if I create the light uh, goes from here and then the particles be also here visible okay so uh, here we got the layer it says a reveal original photo and uh, uh, you got here in the brackets it says brush white into mask so uh, this is actually original photo with a contrast and uh, if I turn it on and off uh, you'll see that nothing happens because this layer is not visible until you brush white into disk mask so just let this layer mask and set foreground color to white and I'm gonna change this to 10 right okay and so now uh, what I actually what I usually do is to I just brush now uh, uh, on the places that you want to make uh, more light and okay, like this so I'm gonna just brush over there a little bit a little bit over here okay so I also brush over here you can also brush brush here and here okay Okay, so uh, let's see next. We got a, a main photo. So, as you can see, uh, what we got here is the uh, darkened photo bottom. And what this layer does, if I turn it off, you will see that actually it darkens this uh, bottom part of the photo. And uh, also, what you can do is uh, if you click the Alt button, for PC or option for Mac and click here you'll actually see this so uh, uh, where you got a, a white brush uh, a white color here uh, it's actually 
uh, on that places you got this uh, I can say shadow effect okay so uh, so uh, there the the shadow effect is less and less visible as you go to the, front, uh, to the left okay and you can change this uh, when you select this layer mask you just take uh, a gradient and uh, okay and just change uh, how you want to uh, 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 to shadow goes okay you can when it wears it you can change this uh, as you like okay I'm just gonna leave it uh, default and uh, here what we got is the uh, top light uh, narrow so I will now uh, turn off uh, both of these layers so uh, first I'll show you the uh, narrow light so as you can see uh, so you can see the difference. This is a narrow light, and this is a wide light. Okay. Uh, 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 now I'm going to uh, uh, first. I'm going to customize the effect. So I, I got uh, a one. Uh, so I got a one a light source. So I, I'm gonna leave the direction here. Uh, what you can do is to double click here, and now uh, you can change the direction by changing this angle here. You are changing the direction of the light. What you can also do is you can increase the scale and make the light wider okay or more narrow so what you can also do is you can change the density of the light by uh, changing the opacity here so I'm gonna turn them both on and I'm gonna use a wide light and make it more wide like this okay I'm gonna leave its opacity like this and I'm gonna leave the narrow light exactly as it is so let's see what we got next is a photo edge contrast and uh, it's actually giving a, a contrast to a softened photo edge so this layer is softening the edges and uh, I'm going to just change this contrast here uh, just click uh, here and drag into the side so just choose the value that you like I'm gonna set it like this maybe a little bit more like this okay so uh, also you uh, we got a gradient overlay here when you double click there uh, you can change the scale and change the light uh, uh, behind your photo okay uh, I'm gonna leave it by default and uh, uh, this is the photo shadow so this is just a shadow uh, uh, down uh, it's actually uh, at the bottom okay uh, and uh, these are the textures so you got a uh, four uh, textures layers that have a different opacities and what you can do is you can change their opacities to achieve a lot of different results okay so I'm going to use this setting like this uh, you can also brush black into this layer mask if you want to remove the texture on some place. Just make sure that this is to 100. Okay, it is. Uh, but I'm going to leave the textures. And uh, here we got the add the noise layer. So I'm going to lower its opacity like 10. And here we got the middle light. Uh, when you double click here, okay, uh, so we can change the uh, the middle light of the photo and uh, so uh, just set the value that you like and uh, this is a background color uh, and double click uh, on this box you can change the color okay and what you can also do is to you can use your original uh, if you want to use your original uh, photo background then just turn off uh, this layer so uh, when you turn it off your background will be visible uh, my photo has a um, uh, the black background mostly so uh, it's actually almost the same when I turn off and on this layer but if you got some background it will be visible when you turn off this layer uh, maybe you have to uh, if you want to make it more visible you can just uh, lower the past the textures okay so uh, what I'm going to do more now is to select the uh, darken photo bottom layer, uh, select its layer mask and just brush with a white color on the places where I want to create, uh, where uh, that I want to darken a little bit more, okay, like this. 
okay so also uh, 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 there is a really hard edge here uh, that's because when I was uh, uh, making a, uh, a brush layer I didn't brush I made a selection so uh, I should add a, a, a more feathered uh, selection so but you can uh, improve this so uh, you can select the paint for the layer and brush with the uh, just brush with the black color just set like this uh, also uh, I will turn off uh, this layer uh, it says the over sharpen uh, so we're going to make it uh, uh, again uh, in the end of customization and I'm going to explain later why I turned off this layer okay so now I have to just uh, brush a little bit to soften these edges here uh, if you brush nicely you will don't have to do this okay so uh, you will just make sure that uh, uh, if you have to uh, soften the edges like this so just make sure that uh, you got selected uh, a layer mask here and you're brushing with a black color okay okay so also I have using I was brushing white uh, into this my uh, mask on here these places so I will have to brush with uh, a black color on this uh, this layer mask also okay it's great now I just brush a little bit more here okay that's it let's uh, brush uh, just a little bit here so if you are making a, a brush fill with the making selection make sure to uh, set a, a feather to selection okay it's great now so uh, let's get back here let's check the, this again maybe to change the white a little, a little bit more like this actually uh, make the white uh, I'll make it, uh, the light beam some more narrow okay so that's it uh, also uh, when you change the light direction uh, change the direction of the light beams uh, I'm going to show you that later now I'm going to use uh, this direction okay so let's what uh, let's see what we got here uh, it's a uh, color options so the color option one will be used by default and you can turn it off and choose another and how to do that is to just uh, choose some color option and simply turn it on and see how it looks if you don't like it simply turn it on uh, turn it off and try with another 
uh, there are a lot of colors so I'm sure you'll find the one that you like uh, the most so you can also combine a few of them uh, so as I said on the beginning of the video and how to do that is to turn one color option and then turn another and then just play with the opacities of that color options okay so let's choose this one so I have actually combining now a three color options okay that's it uh, also if you want to if you wish to use a one color single color uh, then turn on this layer and you will, say, uh, you will have a single color and when you double click here you can actually choose the uh, any color that you like okay I'm going to turn this layer off now because I uh, I want to use a color option okay so let's see what we got here next uh, so adjustments we got the overall saturation when you double click here you can change the saturation value okay just like this and uh, set it to 5 let's add contrast and uh, this layer is uh, very important here so it can make a lot of difference to the final result uh, when you change uh, the opacity you will actually see how it can change uh, a design okay so I'm going to use uh, la uh, larger values now, just like this, okay. And uh, this is the overall brightness. When you double click here, you can just change, uh, move these three cursors to change the brightness. And this is the final layer. It's an overall sharpen layer and if I turn it uh, on, so this layer is giving a sharpened our photo you see there uh, uh, actually some uh, you will see the, the lines the lines are giving the sharpened your photo but because I was customized the results I want to make it again uh, at the end of customization so just go to uh, image, apple image, ok and uh, just go to other high pass set radius to 2, ok and just change its color mode to hard light and by default opacity is 44 uh, so now uh, these lines are, are different because uh, I have changed the uh, I was uh, softening this edge here I, I have had more particles so they were not uh, they didn't have the sharpen uh, before so if you're custom with the results uh, always make this layer uh, again okay so this is the default uh, amount of sharpen you can easily change its uh, value so you can control the sharpen by moving this cursor and I'm going to leave it just uh, like this okay and uh, now I'm going to show you uh, I'm gonna make a, a little bit different result so I'm gonna get back here just here and uh, just change the the light direction I'm gonna use uh, something like this okay I'm gonna add a minus here okay or I'm gonna use a larger light from here and a narrow light from the other side like this okay and uh, now I'm going to increase the narrow light opacity a little bit maybe also it's wide like this okay that's it and uh, what I also have to change now is this here uh, see I, I got a glow uh, here but now the light doesn't come from here so you can uh, select the edge glow layer and uh, you can just brush with uh, uh, with a back color just like this okay so you can play with this opacity here if you need to make it uh, uh, lower okay like this uh, also I will set this layer and again uh, brush uh, black here because this layer is giving us uh, lighting there we don't need it on that place okay and uh, you can also brush uh, with uh, white here but with a uh, lower opacity well actually i'm not going to do that now 
uh, we're going to add a we're going to darken this part uh, later in a little bit different way so you change that and now what I gotta change is are the light beams so I'm gonna uh, just select the, the, the group here and uh, I'm just going to uh, rotate it to 45 degrees so it will be uh, in uh, direction by the light and I'm going to change the width like this let's set it to something like this let's just make a quick look here okay that's it and now we got the, our backup light and I'm going to transform it uh, like this you can change this uh, height there and you see that if I leave it like this, I get the light beams going from here, but actually they're not light there. So just change this, uh, this width like this. Click OK, and I'm going to lower the opacity of these light uh, light beams, something like this. And. Uh, as I said uh, before, now you see that uh, those particles are not visible here, they're visible now here uh, because of the light. Okay, so they're visible on the place where you got the light. Okay, uh, so what you can also do uh, is you can take this uh, layer, for example, stop light, narrow, and just move it uh, in top of your photo so the light uh, passes uh, all the way to uh, to, uh, to uh, this edge of the photo like this okay so you can it's uh, it looks great so I'm going to light uh, this layer uh, right there uh, and I'm gonna get back to color options I'm gonna turn off these color options and try with another let's use this one and uh, you can add another color option if you like to make a different look so just lower this a little bit like this okay uh, let's see what we can do more uh, I'm gonna turn on this layer uh, I'm gonna set the edge glow layer and uh, I'll brush a little bit on these edges here uh, so I'm gonna use a black color uh, select the layer mask and uh, just brush with uh, let's say about 20 like this that's it okay so now uh, let's get back here uh, I will leave these settings like this here just gonna make uh, this uh, layer again because uh, I have changed the light direction okay so if I uh, left the previous uh, sharp layer it would still have the lines that are going to sharpen to a uh, uh, light that has a li direction uh, from this okay uh, and so I made a, a new sharpen layer and uh, let's just quickly change the opacity like this uh, and uh, also uh, uh, I have left this uh, brush layer here uh, for the case you wanna uh, change the canvas size so you can just uh, uh, delete these two groups and uh, change the canvas and play the action with it again so that's why you have the brush layer there 
Uh, also, uh, after you finish with customization, what you can do uh, to create some final touch design, uh, I'm going to show you now. Before that, I'm just going to make a, a quick uh, a change here. I'm going to select the darken photo uh, bottom and uh, brush with the white color, uh, uh, like from this here, a little bit here, because uh, it may be brush with the black color a little bit over here, because the light goes from here. Okay. Just like this. Maybe brush a little bit. Okay. So let's just uh, see. That's it. And uh, the final touches we are going to make is to we're going to make a new layer and change its color mode to screen and just take a brush set this to about 10 and choose a white brush a uh, white color uh, pick a soft brush and just add a little bit more glow in some places like this uh, or uh, for example here so I'm just gonna click uh, with a smaller brush once and then with a larger brush okay, like this a little bit more here also. So you can uh, add this glow uh, on all places that you want to look, they're hidden by the light. So you could also add it here if you like. Okay. No, actually, not going to add it there. Uh, let's add it here. Here I don't have to edit, maybe a little bit. And let's add a little bit here. Okay. Uh, you can also, uh, if you use the uh, uh, too big value here and uh, your uh, uh, glow becomes, uh, you have too much density, uh, is, uh, too much density you can just uh, you can just uh, lower this uh, opacity here, so you can control its uh, density. Okay, so I'll just like this. Okay, and you can also uh, make a new layer and just go to a play image. Okay and pick a, 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 a dodge tool and uh, choose a highlights set this to about five and increase the highlights a little bit more so just click once on the highlights on your photo just like this uh, and also then you can choose a burn tool and change this to shadows and uh, oops, shadows and just brush on the places that you uh, want to make uh, darker so you can also if I would set this to 100 you can actually uh, uh, darken the photo uh, as much as you like so And uh, I'm going to brush a little bit on the bottom. So just uh, I will set this to 10 and just brush over here like this over here. You can brush. Or here also, uh, I'll change this to highlights to darken the highlights. Okay, just like this. Or mid tones. Uh, 
Okay. So let's just uh, a little bit lower this darken value here. Okay, so uh, that's it actually. Uh, I'm pretty much happy with the effect and uh, uh, I hope you understood everything that you and that you like the action. So, but if you still need any help or you got any question, so, uh, you can uh, contact me anytime via my Envato profile page. Okay, so thanks.